Writing notes in AutoCAD can be a daunting task. If you have a standard set of notes that you can use on most of your projects, then it's a good practice to type it once and only one time. Remember, the point to using AutoCAD is to do less work so we can be more efficient. That gives us more time to play and to have fun instead of just work all the time. There are several ways to reuse previously written notes or text. One is to go into an old project and copy the text from there. You can also set up a block that has notes in it and insert it into your drawing. There are a few issues with these two processes though. If you copy text from another job, it could have project specific items in the text that you don't want to copy over, like different client name or project name. So if you do this, just be careful with it. Also, this method, as well as a block of standard notes, could have text styles and formatting issues in it. So just be aware of those. If your notes are very generic, then set them up that way. And remember to set up text styles that will work with your company and what you need to do. Whatever text style and layers were used for that text will be brought into your drawing as well. So if you make a standard block to use, then in theory, that shouldn't be an issue anymore. So just work with your template files and with your standard blocks, and that'll help eliminate a lot of those issues. Now there's another method that you can use. You can import text from a .txt file. This gives you a few things that the others don't. One is that there is no formatting involved in the .txt file. You won't have to deal with it. It's raw data. There's no styles, no layers, nothing, but just the text you need. It also allows a non-CAD user to type up the notes for you, you know, like an assistant or an intern. So let's open up a blank CAD file here. I have one started already. Let's start the mtext command. Type in mt, enter, you zoom in if you want or whatever you need to do to help you visualize it, and just pick a spot for it. Go right here, create a window size, and that doesn't matter at this point. So now we have our mtext window set up and it's an object, we have to type something in. So I can look at these notes and I can type them in myself. Or I can do something even cooler than that. I can right click and I go to the import text option, which is right here. And now you need to browse to our example files that we've included with your video. And once you're to the proper place, open up the file called notes.txt. Select it, click open, and there we go. We just inserted all of those notes right into AutoCAD, as you can see right here. Now I can make any adjustments I want to. I can spell check, and a lot of these probably even look familiar. And there we go. See, that was real easy, and I didn't have to do anything. The best part is I didn't have to type them out. So this option gives you a clean set of notes to work with. It keeps them very generic and very raw, and it allows other people to help you be more efficient. It lets them type it up. You can only import a .txt file, nothing else. And if you have existing text altogether, you can even import it right into it. So if you have some notes and you need to add some more, just go into that text object, right click, and import text again and I'm going to import the note-pipe text. Now you can see here, if I try to import it, I can only use a txt file. You can also use an RTF file, but that would have some formatting into it. They're essentially the same thing, so either one will really work. Let's go note-pipe, click open, and there we go. Now the nice thing about this is that I didn't have any formatting for either one, and I can just put it right in. Now these are all caps, these are lower caps, and now I can very easily select everything, right click, and uh, change the case. So I can make them all look the same, I can add notes to it, I can take some stuff out, and once I import these, if I say, hey, you know what, note 10 here doesn't apply, I can just easily remove it and keep going. So it, if you have text, you can copy it, you can paste it, you can insert it as a blocker from another file, or you can import the text right into your text editor from a TXT file. 